Hi guys, Barry Fresh here. So a uh, lot of activity here though in the garden at the moment. Um, main focus this week is I'm trying to get ready to bring in a couple of chickens, maybe 10 or 12 um, Rhode Island Reds or something like that, you know, some kind of hardy breed there for the Irish climate. Especially we're looking into the winter now, so we'd want something pretty hardy. My main goal is this week I've been putting in a lot of posts for the for the chickens and I'm trying to fence it off when the, there's a big concern here as well with predators mostly uh, the number one predator in this part of the world are foxes um, there's a river nearby so I was told there could be a, quite a few mink as well in the area um, so it's coming up with some kind of hen run that would be quite difficult for them to penetrate and get into. I'm not opting. Uh, oh, this guy just wants me to throw the ball for him there in one second. The, I'm not opting for a covered uh, chicken run. It's going to be big enough, I suppose. Like I'm looking at about, I suppose it's about close enough to 16 foot by 24 foot. And I'll have the ability then to divide that up. Um, maybe if I want to uh, put beds on one side uh, and graze the chickens on the other side and then switch it over between it like the reason I'm bringing in the chickens mostly apart from the eggs obviously Joe which is a great benefit and the, just the character of the chickens as well is good crack is to add fertility to the soil here like next week I'll be getting a polytunnel um, I'll be hoping to dig the polytunnel with the help of the chickens and I haven't established any beds here yet I'm still in a debate whether I'm going to go with ingrown beds or raised beds uh, at the moment so the chickens are going to help with that I'll have them turn the soil um, and fertilize the ground um, and then again it's a they're just fantastic really, do you know, they, they'll eat all the bugs, they'll um, provide me with lots of chicken compost, chicken manure and some great eggs and who knows, maybe down the line they might provide me with a few breasts of chicken. Um, so I'll give you a quick look at this, hopefully, what's hopefully going to be a predator proof chicken run that I'm building. Um, Obviously I want to buy as little as possible so I was able to get a lot of this green security fencing from um, uh, a crowd I've been helping out in the, in the community in the, here in Cork. Um, so they trained me some security fencing for uh, roof cladding that I had, uh, a nice bit of roof cladding so we were able to do a bit of bartering there uh, for the fencing. Uh, I did have to buy a roll of welded wire box. I'm planning digging that into the ground. Um, but I'll give you a look at it there now and you can see for yourself what we're going to do to try our best to keep the predators out. Perfect timing. Here's Yvonne with the lunch. <laughs> Thanks for that. And Zeusy's after joining us as well. Great. Sorry. So here's the chicken run. These are the railway sleepers that we already had here. So I've put in uh, four on each side, one in the middle, they're about eight foot apart. That's the green fencing that I was able to barter for. Um, it'll be about six foot high. 12 by 24 so I can divide this space here up if I like build a freestanding coop that can be moved around I'll also be putting some beds beyond the run here where the setter fencing I found this in the bushes as well three, three uh, bays of site fencing which is great um, so it is a nice big area here all these railway sleepers and blocks and piles of wood were here when I got here, which is fantastic, as was the container. So it was just a wealth of materials. So this is what we have so far. We have the wire. It's going to be continuing up until the top of the fencing, or of the posts. 
and down here then as you see we can dug in this welded wire mesh so that's that stuff there it's about one inch box we dug it in about 18 inches yesterday and we brought it back up on the inside i'm going to tie that to the other wire so hopefully that will do the job from any digging and then underneath here if you can see this i ran this up the inside as well and i'm going to run it out the front of the fence to stop any foxes from digging up here so if they do want to dig they're going to have to start way back which is about 80 19 inches out we also filled the hole with a lot of concrete blocks and stuff like that um so i'm going to compact this down <coughs> maybe bring up the level a couple of more inches because we do have a whole pile of topsoil left over from we dug in the fences and all that um so it should be pretty secure fingers crossed now back to the lunch talk to you in a bit 